in it manufacturing slicing of cad models is the most important step so we'll try to understand what are the different parameters that can be used to control the slicing process so one of the first thing we have to remember is since we are building this component layer by layer so if you take the layer 1 and you are having the layer 2 if the two layers are ending exactly at the same point then you are going to get a vertical surface but since usually the layers either will be in the form of a liquid or some other thing the profile may not be exactly smooth but we can say at a reasonable level it will be vertical and satisfactory but if you are having inclined surface or you are having any other kind of profile the surface generated by the additive manufacturing process and the required surface may not be the same and there is going to be a difference with and the maximum distance that is present between the surface created and the surface generated that will be called as a cusp height now this cusp height is dependent on the slice thickness what is the thickness of the slice if you are reducing the slice thickness then number of layers required to build the height also is will be increasing for example you are having a component of say 10 mm height and your current layer thickness is 1 mm then you require 10 layers to create the component if your layer thickness is 0.1 mm then which means you have 100 layers to be produced now what is the issue with producing 100 layers for example you are trying to create a particular component and you are moving your you are adding material so in this case if you are seeing we are having 120 layers so now what exactly is happening so we have to add material over here and you have to add material over there so now the layers are 120 so instead of 120 if it is 1200 then what should happen i have to add layer here once then i have to add layer here again then again i have to add layer here and again i have to add layer so i have to add more number of times on this particular surface the issue is i cannot add at any speed so there is a particular speed at which only material addition is possible so if you are knowing the area on which you want to add the material and the speed with which you can travel over that particular area then as the number of layers increases you require more and more time to add material because the total area on which the material is being added is also going to increase so if you see the example here we'll try to see total 120 layers are there you require around 3 hours and 41 minutes we will forget about all these parameters it requires around 3 hours and 41 minutes now the layer thickness is 0.2 so if i make 0.1 then the number of layers are going to almost double the time is also has doubled and you will be having more number of layers which means we have to travel on this particular area more number of times to create this particular component so what is advantage you will have better accuracy disadvantage is the time so we have to judiciously decide what should be the layer thickness for a particular component so here you are having three cases case one you are having a parabolic profile you are having a very large layer thickness so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 layers you are able to complete it then this layer will not be produced because the material addition is less than the layer thickness so it will be skip the profile what you get is a very bad approximation of the required profile if you are going for a very fine layer thickness you are having too many layers but you are going to get a much better profile if you are taking in between we are having good number of layers and the profile is also not 
very bad or it is not is very good so if you are maintaining the constant layer thickness then it is not possible to get a better approximation of a given surface so the next best solution is not going for the very fine layers but going for the fine layers where it is absolutely necessary if you are seeing this particular figure where exactly is the fine layers are needed when the surface is very far away from the vertical that is these regions you require smaller layers when the surface is very close to the vertical you don't require small layers so in this region we don't require small layers but as we go away and away from the vertical you require more and more fine layers that is the build orientation as the build orientation deviates from the vertical or the build orientation increases then definitely you require more number of layers or we'll say that finer layers are needed so this is the component in which the layer thickness is constant and here we have changed the layer thickness you can see here the layer thickness is larger where the build orientation is zero or it is closer to the vertical as it is bending away and away up from the vertical we can see the layer thickness is reduced so in both the cases the layers are almost same but this one has got much smoother profile as compared to the other one throughout the geometry so if the layers are varied according to the profile then that type of slicing is called as adaptive slicing if you are maintaining the same layer thickness then it is the simple slicing some of the freely available softwares may not be having the adaptive slicing um, modules within them maybe you have to buy the commercial licensed software to get all those options so these are the two type of slicing available which is the important aspect of additive manufacturing apart from that you should always worry about the orientation in which you are trying to produce the components so that we are getting the best strength and the component is able to meet the functional requirement otherwise the component may simply fail